What's up YouTube combat here giving you guys a gameplay commentary for Modern Warfare Remastered and the number one question you guys are probably asking yourselves is it worth the price tag of buying both Infinite Warfare and COD 4 in this Legacy Edition and truth be told it all depends on your value of Modern Warfare 4 or Modern, Modern Warfare uh, COD 4 that's what matters here is how much value do you put into that if you can say I can dip sixty dollars or seventy dollars into that I would say go out and buy it the reason why I say that is for one reason and one reason only the campaign in infinite warfare is actually pretty good the zombies mode is good and I think there is something there um, just the multiplayer isn't good but campaign and zombies is fine um, the campaign in COD 4 is amazing as you guys know actually the infinite warfare campaign is pretty good uh, COD 4 campaign is good the multiplayer is amazing I think if you enjoyed COD 4, just go out and buy the Legacy Edition. I, I, I don't think you're going to be upset with the money you spend. And this isn't me, you know, pumping that Activision machine. I'm very upset they did this. I will release a video at, sometime this week or next week about what they should have done for COD 2016. Uh, at least in my humble opinion. Nonetheless, um, let's kind of talk about my first impressions of the game. This is my first game of uh, Modern Warfare Remastered that you guys are seeing right now. I felt that it would be a good kind of starting off point to show you guys where or how I played this game at the start and see where we are at the end of the year and see how I finished off. Um, but this game just feels the same way COD 4 did. It plays the same way COD 4 did. Uh, I've heard people saying that you can't sound whore. I disagree with that. I can sound whore just fine. I can hear people running up steps right next to me and understand where the flow of traffic's going to be. The spawns are very similar to what they used to be. There's a way to control maps, which I really like. The map design in this game is you're, you're just reminded of what Call of Duty used to be. You're reminded of how good it once was and went before all the microtransaction bullshit, the advanced space jumping bullshit, uh you're reminded of what this game once was, and I, I really like that. I really was happy, and am happy, with what I've seen in Modern Warfare Remastered through my nine and a half hours I've played so far. I wish I could play more. I just have been busy. It was the weekend. I had other things to do. But holy fuck, am I excited every time I get to sit down in front of my TV, uh, my monitor, and play this. I also chose to buy it on PlayStation 4 instead of Xbox, because I wanted to see how that community was. And let's be honest, right now, the players that are playing, there's very few bad players. That's just the truth. And I don't think we're going to have a huge fury of Christmas noobs either because of the fact that it's a $130 price tag in Canada. In America, I think it's only about 100 bucks. Nonetheless, there's still a barrier to entry for players to play this game because that is a lot of money. It's hard to spend that on Christmas for someone. When a game is $60, it's a lot easier and a lot easier to take. An extra 40 bucks could be make or break for some people. Um, but for me, and, and what this game has meant to me so far, is it's bringing me back to where I was way back in 2007, 2008, and, and it just feels good. I'm talking to my friends again about Call of Duty, and about playing on Backlot, and playing on Crossfire, and that to me in itself is amazing. The 16-year-old the inside of me is losing his mind because he's so happy that he has this game that he spent hours in back. Um, <laughs> wait until Modern Warfare 2 Remaster comes out, and then you're going to have the old me just losing it inside of myself. And it was the same when I picked up and played Pokemon Red and Blue for the first time, and I don't know, like 10 years, and I was giddy the entire time, remembering all the things I used to do, and just having a blast, and this is what this game is, it's a nostalgic game that is remastered properly, and it's it's a lot of fun, it's what I hope they do with Halo 3, I hope they remaster Halo 3 to what, what it once was, and this was in the era of great first person shooters, I believe Battlefield had Bad Company at this time, or Bad Company 2 was out, which was a good game, uh, COD 4 was out, World of War was out, Halo 3 was out, all in that 2008 span, and there were some great shooters, and I just wish we could return to those days, and it really bums me out that Call of Duty isn't there. So overall, I, I love this game. I think the Juggernaut's fine, even though people dislike it to all hell. It's a balancing perk for stopping power. You don't have Juggernaut, you don't get stopping power. And I think both perks work in the game, and I think we should return back to this. What made COD 4 work with its, was its simplicity and its counters to everything with the perks. Obviously, I don't think any changes really need to be made, except maybe reduce some uh, strength to the M16, 
but as you can see, I'm using it in this gameplay because it's my first game. Um, and I wasn't going to use a MP5 on Overgrown. But overall, it, it's the same game. Just, I think they could nerf the M16 and nerf the G3. Other than that, there's no issues. There's no exploits. No one's modding this game. No one's trying to find ways to get out of the maps. None of that. The other thing that I want to talk about that's great is the 10 maps they brought in. The only change I would make is Showdown or Strike instead of District. And I don't mind District. It's a good, it's still a decent map. Would have been the only change I would have made. Um... Other than that, we're going to get six new maps in December, which is going to be great. It's going to... I think it's going to make the game better um, once all 16 maps are here. I also hope they offer the, the DLC pack maps free at some point. And then I hope we might get some Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 3 maps remastered into this game and see how they work. That would be also kind of neat to see. But I would hope it would be free DLC as well. Um... It all remains to be seen. We'll see what their plans are for DLC. We'll see what happens. But guys, if you want to keep in touch with Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered, stay tuned to this channel. If you want to hit that subscribe button, please do. If you want to like the video, please do. Share it with your friends. Let them know that I still exist. And uh, there's more videos coming out on COD 4 Remastered as well as other videos that I'm going to be working on. So thank you guys very much for watching. Once again, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you want to see more from me, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, guys, combat signing off. Peace.